Hi friends, our today's topic is Serialism and this is Serialism video part 14. So please watch the previous videos to understand the concept clearly. In this video, I am going to cover can never be cases. So can never be cases is very important as part of your exams. So let's understand the statement and try to find out if the conclusion is true or not, right? Okay, so what is the statement? A statement is some cats are dogs. So I'll draw the Venn diagram for that. So some cats are dogs. See the cats and dogs are sharing this person. So some cats are dogs and some dogs are cats. Both will be true, right? And no dogs are rats. So dog and rat, there is no relation, right? So dog and rat, there will be no relation. And all rats are mats. So all those rats are what? Mats, right? Okay. So this is my basic when diagram for the given statement right now the conclusion is all mats can never be cat what they wanted to say is see the all whatever mat is there all mat will never be cats means all the mats what they wanted to say all the mats will never be cat means all the mats will never come inside the cats so that they are asking this is true or false right so we'll go to our basic diagram and then try to make this happen right so all mats so where is the mats so mats is here right okay so if all the mats is it possible to bring inside the cat let's see so this is cat right and this is dog i'm drawing the diagram again right and then this is what mat and this is what cat right and they're telling no dogs sorry this is rat and they're telling no dogs are rat so dogs and rat there is no relation okay so this is a possible diagram which i am making right and whenever we are making a possible diagram we have to be very careful that your statement should not get violated right so this is my basic diagram which we have to make using the statements right and why we are making a possible diagram because in the question they're asking all mats can never be cats means in the Conclusion, they're clearly telling all mats will never be cat. So what we are trying to do here, we are trying to bring the mats inside the cats. So if all the mats, if you are able to bring inside the cat, then this statement will become false, right? See, they're telling do whatever you want, but all the mats will never be cats, right? So because of that only, we drew the possible uh, diagram here, right? Okay, now let's see if any statement is getting violated or not. Some cat or dog, so see cat and dog, Yes, this statement is not getting violated and then no dogs are cat, no dogs are rat. So dogs and rat, there is no relation. So this is also not getting violated and all rats are mat. So all rat is inside the mat. So this is also not getting the violated, right? And by that way, what we have done here is we have kept all the or we have brought all the mat inside the cat, right? But here they're clearly telling do whatever you want, all the mats can never be cats no all the mats is cat here we have done we have drew the diagram in the possible when diagram right so this becomes false see in the same thing if we were not able to bring all the mats inside the cats then this will become true right because they are only telling all the mats can never be at any cost can never be cats right so this conclusion is false here A statement two all teachers are a student so whatever teachers are there all are students and some students are intelligent so some students will be what sorry intelligent right see both are sharing a student is sharing intelligent and intelligent is sharing a student no intelligent is a girl so intelligent and girl there will be no relation right and all girls are beautiful so all girls will be inside the beautiful right this is what this is my basic venn diagram right now they're telling some student can never be girls means what they wanted to say do whatever you want draw whichever diagram you want but some students will never be girls so let's try to see if we can prove it or not so see some part of a student is what intelligent right some part of a student is intelligent and this intelligent and girls do not have any relation right so some part of a student see if this part if you are trying to bring 
inside the girls then what will happen intelligent and girls will have a, a relation right but they are clearly telling intelligent and girls does not have any relation i mean they both are not at all interacting with each other right so what they are saying is some students can never be girls yes it is true some student who are intelligent will never be girls right because what it will happen it will violate the statement which is statement no intelligent is a girl intelligent and girl there is no relation but if you are trying to bring this then it will violate the statement right so this conclusion is very much true thanks for watching the video